Ooh, I really can't describe how scared I am to sew this. Why did I start this show? I really do not know, miss. <laughs> Greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another So Drunk. I believe this is episode 5, so cheers to that. I think in every other episode I've drank wine, but today I have a Reeb, an IPA beer, and I'm very excited about it. I'm just now seeing that there is a piece of grass on it from outside, so that's great. Also, welcome to my bedroom. Normally I film over there where my bed is, but today I'm filming in this setup because my partner Finley is in the kitchen right now making some cider as well as some mead from some blackberries that we harvested. So I just thought it would be way too much to have him like in the background because normally I have the kitchen as my background in these videos and honestly, it's just quieter up here, but it is hotter. So if you see me growing more and more pink, it's because I had to turn the AC off for this video and I have a huge studio light on and just, woo. Anyways, let's get into it. Today I am going to be altering some items that need just really minor alterations. They're just ripped, but I'm also going to be trying, keyword trying, to sew this set I'll put a photo of it on the screen <laughs> that I saw at Free People when I went with a friend the other day and I was like, you know, I'm trying to stop buying fast fashion, trying to not support Free People anymore with my money. So I just mentally noted it like, damn, I would wear that plaid strapless top with some high-waisted pants and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make it. And so I went thrifting the other day at Red, White and Blue and I got this big old dress that I'm gonna cut into pieces and re-sew to be a top and bottom. Hopefully, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> okay, let's get into just some minor alterations just to warm us up, okay? First, we have my sunflower skirt. I noticed the other day that it has a large hole here by the elastic. So I'm just gonna start with that. For some reason, I feel like something horrible is gonna happen with keeping my beer on this really shaky table, but we're gonna try it just for now, okay? We're just gonna see how it goes. Wow, it looks like I already sewed this. That's funny, huh? Seems as though I didn't do a good job because here we are again. <laughs> but I believe in myself tonight. I feel God in this chilies tonight. Okay, first stitch of the day. Is everybody strapped in? Great. Something's already happening. Nobody was strapped in, that's what it is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, my needle wasn't properly threaded. I hate my life. This is why I say, why did I start this show? I do not really know, miss, in that beginning song there, because I have to admit, I'm horrible when it comes to sewing. And actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna like negatively self-talk right now because I'm learning. That's what I want to make clear. This show is rather difficult because my motor skills are impaired when I film, but you know, I try for you and myself. It's actually properly threaded this time. So no one even fret. And action. Woohoo! Yeah, that's nice. Who needs a tailor when you are the tailor? But for real though, I used to take my clothes to an alterations place back home in Georgia and I would be like, can you help me? I don't know how to do this. But in reality, I should have just started learning from a young age how to sew. And that's what I will teach my little peanuts if I ever have them. I want them, let's be honest, I'll probably have them. I think that that's all the holes. Nope, I lied, I found another one. I'm gonna sew this and I'm gonna wear the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm sewing on an antique table up here today, so that's why it's so damn waggy. Waggly? Raggy? The word I'm looking for is wiggly. <laughs> A moth just flew in, I don't know from where. Cause there's no windows up open up here. So don't really know where this guy came from, but welcome, welcome, sir. So if you can hear something throwing itself 
on my umbrella around my studio light behind you, you know who it is. It's not me. Sunflower skirt, check. <laughs> Sorry, oh my god. The Reeb burps, I'll be honest, they're even worse than the wine burps. So if you watched this before and you said, oh my god, I love this show, but I just cannot get down with the burps. Well, I'm sorry because there's just gonna be more to come. But these overalls here are literally holding on by a thread, a single thread, <laughs> the strap is. And in the front here, they're sewn closed and then in the back they have buttons. And the buttons are fine, the buttonholes are okay. And I, I'll be honest, I still don't know how to sew a buttonhole, so I wouldn't have fixed them if they were broken. I'm just gonna reinforce the strap up here today. Y'all ready for this? Bear now 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 back stitch it, go forward and back stitch and go forward. Now, okay, a reinforced strap. Absolutely incredible. I'm just gonna cut my threads and then I'm gonna throw it on to the floor. I have a clean load of laundry that's in a laundry basket on my floor. I'm not just like throwing them into like a pile of dirt. I don't know what you guys think I'm throwing off into the abyss, so that's why I made that, that disclaimer. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the positive comments and feedback on my last video. I was honestly getting terrified to film that video and actually upload it and everything. So I'm really happy that you guys received it well and enjoyed it and had a bunch of experiences to share. And I'm also absolutely elated that I can wear these overalls again. But really though, thank you so much. Now I'm gonna chug the rest of this Reeb, open my second and get on with it. As you can see, I'm horrible at chugging. I actually can't do it. I don't know what it is about me. Probably some kind of past reaction that happens due to my high school experiences. <laughs> Cheers. All right, I'm not gonna act like I'm gonna get absolutely obliterated in this episode because I'm not going to be. I only have one more Reeb and that was my first one. So two beers. You know, it means we'll get a little bit there. We'll get there slightly, but we won't go all the way. But the only other booze in my house is Everclear right now for medicinal mushroom tinctures. <laughs> and I really don't want to chug that. So I hope you guys can understand. This is the pregame to the main event. Finally sewing my bed comforter. This isn't really a comforter. It's more just a bed blankie. <laughs> And I have had this huge rip in this, honestly, since 2016. I've had a rip in this since I got my dog, Larry, and he was a puppy teething and he chewed a tiny hole in this and then it got to be a very big hole. And now it's just monstrous. Do you see how big this hole is? I mean, it's the size of two of my fists. Dare I say three? I could fit three fists in this hole. Hmm? I didn't even mean it to come out like that, but you know, if the shoe fits. All right, I'm just gonna start with a tiny hole that has happened on the side over here. Come here, tiny hole, we'll do you first. Oh my God, I'm just digging my own grave with the jokes I'm making this evening. Where is the thread even going anymore? When you try your best, but you don't succeed. I'm using this piece of thread as a tiny microphone. <laughs> when you get what you want, but not what you need. Is that the lyric? Anyways. I will try to fix you. <laughs> Great. One hole done. <laughs> On to the next. You know what, don't even comment about that one, okay? I understand what I'm doing at this point, and it's not great. <laughs> I could fit my entire head in the size of this hole. <laughs> Honestly, this could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Some of my best work to date. All right, let's sew it, finally. My needle keeps 
coming undone. My needle keep coming undone. <laughs> That's not a sentence that I meant to say. Needle won't go. <laughs> you know what's funny about men? They don't notice much. <laughs> like Finley has been sleeping with this comforter for three years, three and a half. And I don't think he's ever noticed that there's a gigantic gaping hole in it. <laughs> and you know, I've never, I've never brought it up. I tweeted something the other day about how Finley will always ask me where stuff is without actually looking for it first. So like I'll be in another room and he's like, baby, where's the salt? I can't find it. And he'll be in the room with the salt but he won't be able to see it for whatever reason. I don't know if it's laziness or voluntary blindness, but it's pretty crazy. And I got a lot of responses to that tweet being like, why is this so relatable? My partner does the exact same thing. And you know, that just be men, I guess. That just be men. You know, it doesn't look fantastic. It looks a little kinky from the other side, but you know, we like it kinky. I'll keep it. Wow. Four years in the making, I finally did it. Incredible work. Now for the real project I've been absolutely shit terrified to do. <laughs> the set. The plaid free people remake set. I do have these pants, which, you know, they fit me well. I like wearing them. I've had them for many years. Dare I say since 2013. Yes, you heard me right. For seven years, I've been wearing these tie-dye pants and they haven't failed me yet. I think I got them. Oh, I found a hole in them. That's fine. I can sew that right up right now while I'm still procrastinating. I got these in Breckenridge, Colorado, brothers. And if you guys watched me before I was even Miss Megan makeup, I was cheerleader for life 647. <laughs> and I made a vlog literally of that trip and I remember I did like an outfit of the night before I went to Red Rocks for the first time to see Green Sky Bluegrass, great band by the way, with my family and yeah, I've had these pants ever since. That's the story of these pants. Not that you asked, again, just procrastinating. You know what, I give up. The hole's too peanut to care about anymore. I give up. Just kidding, I'm not getting frustrated. I'm walking away. I just have to go change my sprinkler to another area of my garden, bye. Okay guys, I have returned with a wound. You know what, I'm not even gonna show you. For all the footsie boy lovers out there, I'm not even gonna show you. But I sliced my stupid toe open on a blackberry vine while I was outside, so. Horrible. Anyways, I have my fabric. This is my idea. Again, here's the photo. I am going to be first chopping off the straps one by one. And also, I guess I'll just do this while I'm explaining my vision to you. I'm gonna rip off or cut off these buttons. So my vision is basically to remove these buttons so that they can be my drawstring, like I said, inside of my pants. And the top, I want to be a strapless tie top. I only have one strapless, well, no, that's a lie. I have two strapless tops. Actually the first sewing project I ever like made, the first clothing piece I ever made for myself was a strapless top. And I wish I wore it more often because it is really freaking cute. So maybe I'll use that as reference, but I want it to tie in the back. And my other one just like is more fitted to my yobbers. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call them now. So I just want you guys to get down with the program or get gone, you know? So from now on, it's gonna be yobbers and wagons all day long. And the yobbers are the, you know? And the wagon is the, you know? So just, Get with it. I do just think it's funny to like say that kind of vocabulary though, and it would definitely be helpful for like answering questions and whatnot about said things without getting in trouble. You know what I mean? What was I talking about? How my shirt needs to fit my yobbers? All right, I have my two pieces. So I'm gonna sew these together to be my proper drawstring for my pants. 
Okay, let's make sure that it can get around my whole, my whole unit. Okay, yeah, I feel good about that. Sure. All right, so I'm gonna outstretch them, fold them in half, and lay them on top of this fabric, and we'll cut the pants first. Okay, can I be honest with you guys? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore or ever. <laughs> I don't know if I ever did. Pretty much all I know is that I cut the fabric and I watched a how-to tutorial, looked at a wiki how on how to sew a pair of pants and it was like, cut each leg, make room for crotch, sew each leg closed, sew crotch together. And that's all I know that's happening right now. I still have my drawstring. I'm gonna set it to the floor. I was gonna say set it aside, but the floor is probably better. And I'm just gonna, I guess, sew this leg closed. I mean, I really don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I just can't say that enough. Like, I think I'm gonna start on the outer leg and let us hope for the motherfucking best. The outer leg has been closed. Okay, I'm gonna sew the other leg closed and then I'm gonna mark where I need to keep it open. That's, that sounds good to me. I'm honestly trying to like envision this piece in my head on my body and like receiving compliments on it and just being like, yeah, I made it myself, thanks. But for right now, it's just, it looks like scrap. <laughs> it looks like I could just toss it, but no, it will prevail. I will prevail. It will come to life. All right, you guys getting getting this? You picking this up? This is probably the most idiotic way you can do this. The most idiotic way to make a pair of pants. That's what the title of this video is. Just kidding. Probably not. Whoa, okay. Chill out, you know? I just don't even know if you guys watching this understand anything I'm trying to do or accomplish, but I hope you do. I chugged that one so hard my headband I almost fell off. What time is it? I feel like it's like 11 p.m. right now. It has to be. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 11.07 p.m. That's horrible. You know what's funny is I'm going out of town in a few days and when I told Finley this is the video I wanted to film before I left, he was like, it just seems like that's pretty much the hardest video that you could film before you leave. Like, why not do anything else? <laughs> and to that I say, I'm giving the people what they want and nobody asked for this. <laughs> so I'm giving myself what I want. <laughs> okay, my pant legs have been sewn. Let's flip them inside out, see what we're working with, shall we? Wow, guys, check it out. This just in, I didn't totally fuck it up. So we do have some pants. We have some pants, but they're not, I'll, I'll give you the old exclusive. There we go. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna see that anywhere else, kids. <laughs> I think that it's not gonna be terrible what's going on but it's also not gonna be great. Like, I don't, I don't really know what's happening over here with the whole butt situation. I should have allotted for the wagon now that I'm thinking about it, because look at this, what's happening over here? I guess maybe I should pin it, pin them all closed, and then everything will be good and proper. Except for the fact that the pants are minor floods, but don't even worry about a thing because it's gonna be all right. Why did I wear these earrings? I'm taking the earrings off. They keep getting caught in my bun. And now for my greatest trick of the night, I will be sewing these pant legs together in a way that's never been seen before. But really, I don't think I've ever done anything this crazy. I fully forgot to say that I changed into a different top. I did. The other one just kept falling off. So it just, it really wasn't good for filming this vid. I kept having to yank it up. I'm just now realizing why people give things proper seams, but we're going for that um, homemade look. Let's just say that. 
All right, guys, you know when the camera battery starts to die, you've been going for way too long. But it's okay, because I'm trying to make a masterpiece. And I'm going to edit this together, and it'll be really concise and neat. <laughs> Don't forget to hydrate, folks. It's freaking hot in here. I'm doing the tongue thing again, aren't I? Damn it. It looks a little weird, but not horrible. Everybody has to keep in mind this is my first pair of pants <laughs> that I've ever made. So don't be too hard on me, you know what I mean? So now I just have to do the end of the pant seams and the waist seam. I almost feel like I should cut them. That's probably the best idea. Several bad puns later. You know, I'm not feeling great about my decision to cut the top of the pants, but I did it. <laughs> it's already been done. So, shit. We have a single seam. Not a great seam, that is, but a seam, alas. All right, guys, I'm gonna fast forward through this part. <laughs> my bun, ridiculous. I need to blast the AC, so I'm just gonna mute it, play a song, and do the little drawstring, and then weave my way through it with a little pin. Does any of this make sense anymore? I don't know. All right, folks, this is what we have so far. And I never did the bottoms, I only did the top. And I threaded the drawstring and then tied it. But as you can see, like, you can see my nude thong at the top here, you know? Like, I got a little whale's tail. And it fits the butt pretty strong. Um, so I'm just like, shit, you know? I'm gonna have to revisit these in the morning. Sorry, I forgot to turn my AC off. I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed as well as extremely tired and slightly delirious. It's 12.30, I feel like I started this at like nine or somewhere around there. And I still have this fabric to make my little tie top with and everything. But um, yeah, I mean, this is the state of the pants right now. They're definitely floods, as I was saying earlier. The sides slash the seams or whatever aren't perfect. They're definitely a little puffy and weird looking. This one's a little bit better than the other. But yeah, I'd say for my first pair of pants, like at least they're connected, you know? I don't know. I'll probably try to finish the top in the morning because I'm just too tired. Greetings loved ones, yet again. <laughs> it's the next day now and um, the delirium was hitting. It was hitting hard last night. I was working on everything until like 1 a.m. and I just needed to stop. I didn't go to bed until 2 and I was just like, Whew, you know what? Is it worth it to keep going? The answer was no. So I just edited like the first half of this until I cut the video off. And I realized that we're at a pretty good length, honestly, love that for me. Um, but I did just come up here to finish off the top for you guys. So this is what I want it to be like. So I'm gonna keep it so the bow is pretty big in the back and I'm just gonna keep the fabric raggedy and cut. I'm not gonna put seams on it or anything. And if I feel strongly about that later, I can always fix it. But I just folded down the top part of the top to be going right here. And I'm pretty much just gonna sew along the top of it all the way around. And then I pinned the bottom as well to be the desired length. I'm about to shuffle off camera to take this top off so I can sew it. And while I was editing, I honestly did really like the format of just um, fast forwarding the clips where I'm sewing and then showing you guys when I'm done. So I'm just gonna continue to do that. See you in a bit. Oh, also I forgot to say that I'm a sham because I'm sober right now, but I hope you don't mind. It's the middle of the afternoon and I didn't want to get drunk just to sew a top. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
believe it. It really happened. Okay, so to solve the pants problem from last night, you know what I said? I said, let's just cut them off. Let's just cut off the shitty parts and make them more of a cropped pant. And I did that just before I turned on the camera. I haven't been showing all of the process because, well, this video is already reasonably long and it doesn't really matter as long as I'm telling you I did it. I cut them to be my desired length. And, you know, we're still having, the only issue really with the whole set is that you can still see the top of my thong because I didn't cut the pattern to give enough room for my wagon, as I was saying earlier. But um, the back tie, I actually really like how big it is. I think it's really cute. I went downstairs and showed Finley and he goes, wow, baby, it looks like you're going to Jamaica. And I was like, honestly, kind of a vibe. I feel like a 50 year old mom on the beach in her picnic ensemble before she goes to evening tea. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Like I would wear this between the beach and the pool or something like that, or just when it's really hot like it is now because it's very airy linen material, but I'll get up close and show you the top. So I folded it over and then I ended up just um, cutting the inside fabric that was extra that I folded onto the inside. I just kind of cut it out, but the seam is strong here. And then I put a strong seam at the bottom of it as well kept the big tie and yeah, that's the only alteration that I did to the pants was cutting them shorter. And I'm just really pleased with how it looks. I'm probably gonna bring this to Idaho to visit my sister and take it out on the town. Maybe, I don't know. I can't decide if I want to just wear this in the comfort of my own home as like loungewear, or I would definitely wear the top out. Like I'll wear the top with a bunch of different green pants that I have and yellow pants that I have. I really like the top, but the pants are like, I don't know, I just don't want people to like see my thong, you know what I mean? But I'll figure it out. If I wear it in public, you'll probably see it on Instagram. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to end off this video and say thank you so much for watching my drunk to sober process. I'm feeling much more coherent and like I made some really good decisions while I was sober. So I guess that, that is the um, lesson learned is that sometimes I make very dumb sewing decisions and regular real life decisions when I'm drunk. But alas, we still completed the look and it's incredible. A nice summer picnic fit. <laughs> but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. You can become a patron of mine if you wanna support my earnings for this month and just see more from me. I post a ton on there and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay smiling, bye y'all.